Hey everyone, welcome to SharePoint Spaces Step by Step series. Myself, Dhruvin Shah, and you are watching seventh part of this series. In this session, I am going to talk about people web part in SharePoint Space. We all know about organizational chart in the SharePoint. People web part will do the same for us. Now there is a question in your mind that in which scenario you can use organizational chart or a people chart for SharePoint Space. Here is an answer. Let's consider an example for an onboarding process. New candidate came to the organization and he don't know to whom he need to report or he didn't know who are the person who are direct going to report him. At that time, this organizational chart will be very useful to them. From this organizational chart, a person will know that I need to contact this reports to manager. He is my reports to manager and these three people are coordinating with me. So, in such cases, this organizational chart will be very helpful to us. Also, there are so many situations where we need to show organization structure to the end user at that time. This web part will be very helpful to us. Now, without wasting much time, let me explain you how we can configure this organizational chart in SharePoint space. So now, let's get started. First of all, let me go to the home page and let me create one SharePoint space for you. Let me change my page background as illustration. Now to add the people web part, you need to click on plus icon and need to select people over here. Place your organizational chart anywhere on your structure. This will add this type of organizational chart in your SharePoint space. This chart is by default added from the current user. So I have logged in with Dhruvin's account. So it is adding Dhruvin's reports to manager as well as direct report person over here. Now let's talk about some configuration property over here. So first of all this angle property, we can set the angle, we can change the position of this web part using this angle property. The second one is distance from the user. So you can change how far you want to see this organizational chart from your end user. Then we have height. We can increase the height using this property. X axis, Y axis and Z axis. We can change using this one. Right. Same way. If we want to increase the scale of our web part, we can use this property that will increase the scale of our property. Right. So these are the basic options. Now let me talk about configuration of web part. Click on pencil icon. The first property is the name property. Here there is a property, enter the name of a person whose organizational relationship you want to show. By default, if you do not enter anything, it will automatically take current user's relationship over here. But let's say if you want to see specific user's organizational relationship, you need to add that name over here. Let's say for an example, if we want to see one of the user's relationship, let's say Aditya, we just need to add his name over here. So his organizational chart will be configured here. Now let me remove that one and let me go with the current user. So it will show me this particular chart. Right now, let's say second option is detail section. From detail section, you can add the alternative text or you can show and hide alternative text. Podium. If you want to show podium for your organizational chart, you can enable that. We can also change the height of our podium using this property, right? Then there is a property actions. In action, on trigger event is by default off over here. You can't set add any action over on trigger. Now there is one more property that is add actional. This is same as other web part. We have three types of action over here. Link to another space, play audio and link to a page or item. Link to another space means when we click on any of the card, you want to redirect to user to the other page, other space page. First option is that play audio. It will play audio if we click on any of the card and link to a page or item. It will redirect us to another page or item when we click on the card. So these are the action properties. Same the description box will be work as it is. It is optional property. If you want to add any uh, description for your web part, you can add it from here, right? So these are the different configuration properties. Now let me publish my web part 
and let's check out the output. So this is my organizational chart and you can see that this is looks really awesome, right? Here, Dhruvin has direct reports to manager uh, Mary. Then Dhruvin has some direct report person as well, Adele, Jack and Tejal, right? Now let's say for an example, if I click on Adele, so it will show Adele's organizational chat to me, which means that Dhruvin is a direct report through manager for Adele, right? Now, if you want to go back and let's click for Tejal, we have this property and let's click on Mary. So Mary has direct reports to Mary is the organizational owner and Dhruvin is a subordinate person, right? So it is showing these two properties to Mary, right? Now, let's talk about configuration property of other user. So let's say for an example, I edit this web part and if I want to add some name like Aditya, what will happen here is Aditya's organizational chart will be able to see us. Like Aditya has um, one of the uh, subordinate candidate Dev over here. So he can be able to view his organizational chart, right? So this is how organizational chart or a people web part will work into SharePoint space. Hope this is clear for you now. If you have any question, you can add your questions in the comment section. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Stay connected with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and WhatsApp. If you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel, just click on this link. It will be redirecting you to this form. Fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your WhatsApp number. Stay connected with me. Have a great day. Goodbye.